Ahead of the UN Climate Change Conference in Poland this year, US President Barack Obama pledged he would bypass Congress to implement a comprehensive climate strategy. His announcement signals what is now an urgent issue for many small islands. In fact, here in the Caribbean, the way of life for people on the tiny island of Barbuda is already being affected by global warming. Mitzi Allen is 18 degrees north and 62 degrees west, reporting from Barbuda. It's the tiny sister island of Antigua in the Eastern Caribbean, a paradise playground for royalty and celebrities, boasting exclusive resorts and miles of secluded, unspoilt beaches. It's home to the largest Frigateburg sanctuary in the Western Hemisphere. The Codrington Lagoon could become a UNESCO World Heritage Site. But for the 1,500 people who live here, the future is uncertain. According to the German Watch Global Climate Risk Index, Barbuda is one of the most vulnerable places on the planet. Diane Black Lane is the chief environmental officer for Antigua and Barbuda. By the year 2050, we are predicting, based on the sciences, that about 60% of Barbuda will become submerged. Scientists say climate change due to a rise in greenhouse gases is causing irreversible damage to the island and could reshape many of the Caribbean's coastlines. Barbuda is a very flat island. Our highest point is just about um, just over 200 feet. And as you can see, we are very close to the sea level. We have been feeling the effects of climate changing. So underground here in Barbuda, one, we have seen more frequent hurricanes and tropical storms. In fact, right now it's something that has become a part of our, of our lives. John Mussington, a marine biologist and a resident of Barbuda, is taking us across the Codrington Lagoon to a sandbar, which acts as a natural barrier between the lagoon and the sea. In 1995, the sandbar took a direct battering from a powerful hurricane, and now rising sea levels and storm surges mean the island could be left unprotected. If you can imagine, all of this, including Codrington, is now either wetland or underwater, and the only thing you have remaining is that piece of highland up there, which is basically a limestone cast of life. In terms of our infrastructure, in terms of agriculture, in terms of housing, and all those things which go together to make an economy and a community. We're going to be severely challenged because we're not going to have that. It has started. This was once a road. It is completely submerged. And today, the sandbar is again being threatened by huge waves. At one time, trees used to cover this whole sandbar. USAID stepped in with funding in an attempt to replant trees on the sandbar. But if climate change predictions are correct, sea levels will rise to 200 feet, the same height as Barbuda. Climate change is already crippling one of the island's most important exports. Lobster fishing on the island is in crisis, and the livelihood of local fishermen is under threat. Just five years ago, fishermen were bringing in 145,000 pounds of lobster for export. On this day, the fish pots are completely empty. And it doesn't matter how far out to sea they go, the results are the same. The global economic downturn is causing Barbuda to undermine its own efforts to combat climate change by mining sand for export. Sand mining generates millions of dollars, but leaves low-lying areas at risk of flooding. Then there's the challenge of tourism development. Hotels and resorts will be mandated to build away from the coastline, and that may be less attractive to investors. Diane Black Lane says the country needs a national policy, and 2013 will be that year. Politicians need to have a good scientific basis from which they're going to make decisions. I can honestly say that we're there. And we're there from the perspective that the World Bank has issued a report, United Nations Environment Programme. We have the Stern Report issued from the UK, which talks about the economic impacts. And so pretty much we're all finally, finally on the same page. The United Nations says that by 2015, developing countries will need $86 billion a year to adapt to climate change. Where will it come from will be the next global debate. 
and could determine the future of small island developing states like Antigua and especially Barbuda. The preceding segment was brought to you by The Nature Conservancy, working with partners in the Caribbean for the benefit of people and nature. Visit us online at nature.org slash Caribbean. To many people, the Caribbean is paradise. For the 40 million of us who live here, the Caribbean is our home, our way of life, our economy, our society, and our tourism industry depend heavily on our marine environment. Since 1975, the Nature Conservancy has worked with partners in the Caribbean to protect the land and sea for the benefit of people and paradise. Join us at nature.org slash Caribbean. Finally, a way to help control your diabetes. Introducing Caribbean Dreams Cinnamon Mint Diabetic Tea. Caribbean Dreams Cinnamon Mint Diabetic Tea is all natural and sweetened with stevia leaves, a plant sweetener that's safe for diabetics. Cinnamon increases the body's ability to regulate blood sugar. Peppermint is high in antioxidants and soothes the stomach. Take control of your diabetes with Caribbean Dreams Cinnamon Mint Diabetic Tea. Next time on 18 Degrees North. A lot of the black people that get taken into mental hospital, especially by the police, are over-medicated and misdiagnosed. There is a huge problem in the British society in relation to black people. It's called racism. The fundamental reasons why this group are treated differently have not been addressed. We ask, is coming back home to the Caribbean the best cure? On the next episode of 18 Degrees North. So this is where we bring 18 Degrees North to a close for this week. Join us online at www.18degreesnorth.tv for exclusive online clips. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. We're there, keeping you connected to the Caribbean. From all of us here at 18 Degrees North, I'm Zara Burton. Thanks for watching. See you next time.